It isn't exactly a radical departure. If you took a track like Sir Clont 6A and played it to anyone with knowledge of Richard James's back catalogue and then asked them who it was by, they would they would know they would know straight away. There's something about the sort of chattering, fidgety relationship between the beats and the warped acid line. There's these washes of synth on it that bend slightly off key. Um, and moreover, there's something I think about the way it kind of twists and turns according to its own weird internal logic. Uh, all those things I think mark it out very obviously as Richard James's work. That sort of tells you something, I think, about how uh, individual and idiosyncratic his style is, uh, despite the fact that lots and lots of other artists have tried to copy him over the years. You could argue that, that whole intelligent dance music genre is based on people ripping off him or Ortecra. Uh, and that's the really striking thing about Syro, it doesn't sound in any way dated, which given that Richard James's breakthrough was over 20 years ago seems faintly remarkable. Uh, but that I suppose is the mark of a genuinely unique talent. It's not subject to the vagaries of fashion, it's not affected by imitation.